This is the next unit in um, the SAP data flows for s um, series that I've put together. Um, this is the third example. Uh, it talks about convergent invoicing um, and it excludes you know, certain SAP delivery billing components which would have been covered in the previous um, example. Um, there isn't a reference for this one as yet. Uh, I'll update it as, as the reference becomes available. Um, this scenario is all about convergent invoicing and it shows how subscription-based business or consumption-based um, billing can occur. It really talks to these two green blocks uh, on the, on the left-hand side. And this is more of a telco utilities um, type scenario where consumption actually is measured by external systems. Um, a certain degree of mediation occurs to aggregate those records. Uh, and then a rating and charging function is applied to ensure that the correct rates and charges according to the appropriate tariff um, are charged. The uh, billing records can be of a very high volume here and equally customers, depending upon the granularity of the solution, may also be in the millions. Uh, for that reason, uh, it's inappropriate to use the quite heavy um, overhead of a sales and distribution sales order. Um, and so there is a direct interface into the financial module contract accounting. Um, there is some reuse of master data. For example, uh, business partner is, is, uh, is referenced. Um, and there is some linkage to, to material, although um, these are of an optimized nature to allow the high volumes to, to run. Um, so let's have a look at the steps. <clears throat> the first step is that an appropriate uh, contract is entered into and recorded in the system, and this then uh, records the details that are necessary for the purposes of recording the financial implications of this um, uh, ar arrangement agreement. The next step is that um, during the course of a period of time, um, mediation occurs to collect records from, from those various sources. These are typically in the form of call data records, but in the case of um, cloud provisioning, they may be the activity logs from, from the various components of a data center, for example, the consumption of CPU or storage or other logs of that nature. Um, the mediation brings those records together in, within the context of the contract um, and then subsequently um, within the same period, and this may all occur at the end of a period um, and, and based upon the particular terms and conditions of the contract that's entered into with the customer, then a rating and charging activity occurs to make sure the correct um, billing values are, are calculated um, and then those are interfaced into the SAP solution at the point of the FICA solution. <clears throat> that then leads to an accounts payable um, internal document, which posts the, the, the sorry the accounts receivable internal document, which then posts into financial accounting. Uh, as you can see here, step number six. Um, in the same way as all of the other data flows occur, there is in a posting into the universal journal. <clears throat> that includes some CO postings, for example, step number eight and step number nine occurring into the database, um, and clearly profitability analysis follows in the same way as for other areas. Now this is an important point that there is a common application of these concepts to ensure that there is a universal treatment for profitability analysis and as these events occur within the cycle of business, so the uh, financial universal journal is kept up to date in real time um, and, and therefore enables real time reporting in, in, in the reporting tools, but equally the profitability analysis component from co uh, controlling or management accounting is, is, is kept in sync. Um, and that's a huge, huge benefit when it comes to the end of the month. And then when it does come to the end of the month, the billing run occurs in the same way as it would for um, an SD-based solution. So everything from this point is exactly the same, uh, and hence the, the name convergent invoicing. So it may well be that there are billing um, posting taking place as a result of subscription activities, uh, and equally there are deliveries being made in accordance with other activity for the same customer and the billing run then would consolidate the entries from, from, um, from, from this flow as well as those from the other flow and allow all the rest of the activities then to flow into the various tables and logs um, and ultimately a single invoice if that's required uh, or multiple invoices could be created and, it, and or, or, or even um, account can also be generated and then each of the branches of a customer could be served with a particular account of their activity and yet we send a single invoice to the parent body who is accountable for, for making payment and that payee then subsequently makes the payment which is managed under a different process. And as always we have reporting taking place across the um, operational system as well as um, you know, on a periodic basis um, and, and 
possibly in an external system bringing together aggregations of records to provide um, the necessary insights. That's the end of the session. See you next time.